Ladies and gentlemen, we finally have somebody to press the button so I don't have to walk up and come back. We're getting there. We're getting there, and that person is trying to sneak out without anybody seeing it. But we're getting there. We are getting there. Uh, this is the final episode of Puck Schmucks for the next two months, I would say. About a month and a half. Yeah, a month and a half, just because, uh, you know, with us, football season starting and, um, you know, usually the, it's weird because hockey fans that are diehard hockey fans, some of them aren't football fans. No. And it's, it, it, that, it blows me away, but then again, you know, I get it. You don't have to cover every fucking sport. But, uh, yeah, this is the last one. We're finally down to the top ten. Um, it's going to be very different. I can already tell it will be because I'm thinking you're thinking I'm going to do something that I'm thinking that, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. And it's totally off. But uh, So you don't have Malkin and Crosby at 1-2? No. <laughs> not even close. Um, so uh, before we get into it, um, we are also sponsored by Fantasy Bros, who has a fantasy football draft kit. And if you pay attention to this channel, uh, we are going to do a live fantasy football draft, mock draft. It's not for a league, but it's just to have fun. We'll bring over a few guys. don't know if we're going to do 10 or 12 or maybe even 8, but still... Uh, Fantasy Bros gave us the materials to uh, to do the fantasy draft, which includes a fantasy football draft board, along with up to date names uh, for each team, no, no, for each player and what team they play for. Um, in the description below, you are going to see a link for um, the uh, the actual fantasy football draft kit. Under the link, you're going to see a promo code. The promo code is BB Sports 15. You will get 15% off. The Fantasy Bros Fantasy Football Draft Kit. If you purchase it using our promo code BBSports15. Uh, once again, before we get into the top ten, it's the same thing every every single time, folks. Like the video, subscribe to our channel, uh, comment below on what you think. Uh, you know, this thing has gotten a couple comments, so I'm guessing we're gonna get more volume once the hockey season gets closer. Uh, but still, like the video, subscribe to, ch to the channel, comment below. Follow us on Instagram, Bigger and Brighter Sports. Uh, one word. Also, we are on Twitter. I'm at Big Tuna BBS. Brad is at Defense Twelve. Brad and Corey is going with two, two E's on the end of it. All right. So we are at the final ten, and it honestly, I ripped. I actually ripped paper out doing multiple that? times, and I know because I thought you had yours done already. I did. You did. You had it done already because I, I saw it and I was like. I was like, he's, he's got it done already. Good for you. Yeah, when I when I got down to 30 through 21, I was like, you know what? I'm just going to go through yeah. so I make sure I don't miss no, anybody. It's, so yeah. sure no one's, you know, it's funny, class. though, too, because you would think you would miss somebody. Yeah. And I did, I did, but it was just because I wrote the same guy twice. Yeah. I put him at, like, 10 and 7. So, you know. Um, so, yeah, we are down to the nitty-gritty here. Uh, for all you Jersey guys out here, look at these. If If you can tell me what that jersey is. And what team this is for McDavid, you will get my, well, I'll just say you, you fucking know your shit. Because these are, if you're a collector of jerseys, these are what they would call gets. These are very, very, uh, I say rare. Well, yeah, maybe rare. It still didn't cost me next to nothing. You know, but still, well, no, that one did. This one cost me 22 bucks. Um, God bless the Chinese. Yeah. Um, but yeah, I mean, I would, I would be impressed if you would. I'd be more impressed with that one than that one because McDavid's a superstar. Really nice it is, it is. The front, the front looks. The the uh, yeah no, they're it's good shit. Yeah, yeah, they're like I said, it's like twenty three bucks. But um, so you got number ten. At number ten, I have uh, Austin Matthews. It's disrespectful. Well, it's it's just because. I, let me tell you something. I love the way Austin Matthews played. I believe his rookie year was better than this year. Mm -hmm. But overall, he had, what, 34 goals, 29 assists. Yep, 63 points for 60, a 20-year-old kid. For a 20-year-old. Is he 20 or 19? He's 20 now. He's 20 now, okay. Um, and his career, I mean, he's only had 144 games. It's not even two seasons. Yeah. 74 goals, 58 assists, 132 points. But that's where I don't like that. More goals, more and, goals assists. and assists, yeah. just time. because that, and more as well as if you're a center, you also have to focus on defense. And I'm not saying he doesn't. I don't watch his team enough to know, but I just got a feeling that he's more worried about scoring than uh, 
you know, than helping out the defense, and I think that's why they brought in Tavares. The yeah. more and more I looked at it. I got you. I agree with you there. Uh, my number 10, I had Steven Stamkos, captain of the Lightning for the last, you know, like 10 years. Actually, he hasn't been the captain that long, but he really yeah. has. Been, it's like six. He's been like yeah. part of, of that team. Oh, yeah. Like no, 10, yeah. 10, 12 years. Uh, great year again. 27 goals, 59 assists, 89 points. 664 career games. He has 668 points. You can't, I mean, you can't, you can't go wrong with that. Yeah, no, and it's just, hey, I mean, uh, Steven Samuels, I had on my, you know, on the bottom, on the, like, very, very close to the top ten. Um, I love the way he plays, but I guess maybe I just, every time the Lightning are in the playoffs, you don't really notice him. You don't. And that I don't like, you know, and, and that's sad because, like I said, he gets 90 points a game, and then when it's time for to get to the playoffs, he doesn't show up. Yep. Uh, my number nine, another Maple Leaf, is John Tavares. Uh, when I did the list the other day and I saw his name was still there, I really, I was upset I didn't put him in 20 to 11. Yeah. Just because, yeah, I just, I, I mean, he's averaging a point a game in his, a little bit under a point a game in his career. This year he had 84 points, which is not bad. Uh, but his teams very rarely make the playoffs. Right. And it seems like he needed to go to a team with a bunch of other superstars to make the playoffs. Yeah. Uh, in his career, it's not bad. 669 games, 20, 272 goals, 349 assists for 621, which I like to see that. I, You know, as much as Tavares is in both of our conference now for yeah. the teams we like, I don't really know about his defensive play. Yeah, I don't either. Yeah, it's not. I mean, I, I don't know, but... Uh, the one thing that's funny is he's had 20 or more goals every season since he's since he's been drafted, yeah, he's been, and he's been. 35 or more assists in seven of the nine seasons. Once again, something I very very much like. Uh, my number nine is Nathan McKinnon, Colorado. Another young kid, 22 years old, 97 points on the year, 39 goals, 58 assists. Mm -hmm. They got a bright bright future ahead of him. And you know, and, and I have Nathan McKinnon at eight. And the thing when I looked at his stats and all that is this year, yeah, he killed it. He didn't even play a full season at 97 points. But if you look at his priors, he, uh, yeah, I bet you the fans were very happy to see that finally. Yeah. Because yeah. he did not have... This is what they've expected from him. Yeah, yeah, but in here, uh, 374 goals, 374 games played. 115 goals and 188 assists. That is, in now I based it a lot on this season, right. which it should be like that. But if you look at that and you you're like, wow, he's not really, because it's to me I thought he played like two between 250 and 275. But yep. for him to play over 100 games more and only have 303 career points, still close only, still close to one a game, but. Not great, <laughs> you know, but yeah. this year, um, the Avalanche got better. He got better. That that team, I think, is is kind of like the Avalanche in that I think they're going to be, not the Avalanche, like the Maple Leafs, they're going to be good for a while. Yeah. And some of the talent that's veteran, that, yeah. yeah, as long as they keep it, but I'm also saying they're young, they're a veteran. I don't know who's like the big free agent next year, but sooner or later they're going to start coming to Colorado, yeah. you know, because they're going to see... All that, but yeah, Nathan McKinnon, uh, very impressive this year. Before that, yeah, not very good. But hey, let's hope it keeps going. Uh, my eight-eyed John Tavares, you just talked about him before. Yeah. Uh, like you said, eighty-four points in the year, thirty-seven goals, forty-seven assists. He's, you know, he's good offensively. And yeah. We don't know what he does on defense. We haven't really watched that much. And you know, that's that's the worst part is because it, it's like you know. I've noticed as we keep doing this and we keep doing the channel is that we do watch more than just the goal scoring yeah. and all that stuff. And that's what is funny because now it's like I'll watch a game and I'm not watching the game. I'm watching for everything else. Yeah. And when the goals happen, you can watch the replay. And the, the thing with John Tavares, and I've said it to you, the thing with John Tavares is that he has made it to the playoffs, I think, once. At, no, twice. I'm sorry, twice because he played... Uh, against the Penguins one year. They did make it to the second round, but they made it to the second round when they beat that, when John Tavares had that unbelievable wraparound goal in yeah. Luongo. And by the way, that's a Luongo jersey when he won the two, when he won the 2010 Olympics. But, um, I don't know. I just, I just don't... He gets a lot of praise, and he's got some good stats, but 
it, it's I, I I'm the kind of guy who always looks at the championships more than anything else, I agree. and I think that's why, um, like a person like Ovechkin has jumped up even more than he already was because he was a big part of the reason why they won a championship. So it, what about this? What if they win a Stanley Cup this year? The Maple Leafs. Does he go up or down for you? Let's say he has the same kind of season. Uh, you know, 80 to 90 points, and they win a Stanley Cup. Would you put him above the people that you have him now? Um, <clears throat> it's a tough question, right? No, no, I wouldn't. Yeah. I mean, there's really, unless he had an even better year than he had this year, I mean, 84 points is a great year. Yeah. But there's guys dropping 95, 100, 110 points. Yeah, I mean, we had... So, to, you know, to put a guy with 84 points above those guys is kind of, you know, crazy, man. Claude, well, no, who was it? it? Was Claude Drew had more points than him, right? He had like, yeah, he had like 102 or something. Yeah, and it's just, it's no. Wait, let me see. So I think he, I think you're right. He did have 102. 102, yeah. 102 yeah, points. but he didn't win the points race. No, McDavid did. Yep. Um, but still, uh, you know, I'm looking at mine too, and I think he would drop in mine because I would put Austin Matthews ahead of him. You know, if Austin Matthews had a good season, granted. Uh, you know, as like like I've said numerous times, looking at the Toronto Maple Leafs roster, Mike Babcock doesn't have work to do, but he's got an interesting setup yeah. there, and good for him because it's like playing NHL 2017. You got all, you got a fucking yeah, huge serious. roster. Uh, my number seven is Taylor Hall, and that uh, that was one of the biggest besides Nicholas Backstrom. Yeah. This was the biggest mover for me. Um, I think the reason that he is as good as he is now is because he's at a team that believes in him. I really think that the New Jersey Devils are the kind of team that needed a superstar after Kovalchuk left, and now it's time for Taylor Hall to be who he is. Listen, guys, he won the MVP last year. That That's, that's a huge, uh, not much of a huge thing, but he goes from being kind of, I don't want to say like, uh, you know, deported from uh, Edmonton, but it kind of seems like that. And it's even better because any because the G Devils made the playoffs and the Edmonton Oilers were like the worst team in the league. Yep. Um, so this season, 76 games, 39 goals, 54 assists, 93 points. In his career, he has played in 529 games, 191 goals, 283 assists, 474 points. He has had six seasons with 20 or more goals and six seasons with 25 or more assists. Not great numbers, but you have to remember that the Edmonton Oilers were the worst team in the league all of but last year. The, uh, last year was the only time they were good, folks. I'm not being mean. They had like six number one picks, but I just think the change of venue uh, really helped Taylor Hall. I just hope it doesn't get to his head yeah. and he turns into a prima donna because that does scare me sometimes with guys that just, you know what I'm saying. Who's your number seven? Uh, my number seven, I have Evgeny Malkin. Yeah. Who, to me, is the most consistent Pittsburgh Penguin. Yeah. Um, I mean, <laughs> his stats are unreal. Insane. 42 goals, 56 assists, yeah. 98 points. In his career, 784, goal, or 784 games, games played yep. with 930 points. I mean, that's a lot of points. Yeah, he's not that far behind. Well, he's, he's about 200 away from both Crosby and He is. He's Ovechkin. also 80-something games behind Crosby and Ovechkin. Is he really? Um, actually, Malkin has 780. Oh, points. okay, yeah, you're Crosby right. Crosby has 860, and, and actually, um, Ovechkin has 1,000 games played right now. Oh, yep. No, I knew that, yeah. And, I mean, Malkin's my number five, but I'll talk about him then, too. Yeah. But uh, Malkin is a guy that I don't want to say he's disrespected, but... Uh, I think the biggest thing for him, and it's a motivator, is that no one does respect him. Yeah, because it's he because he's on the, because he plays behind Crosby. Uh, do I think that he would be a superstar on a different team? Depends. Uh, because I don't think he's like an Ovechkin. He doesn't have that overwhelming shot, but he is a playmaker. I mean, most of the time he has more uh, goals than assists. And, you know, I mean, his career, like you said, he, I think he's a Hall of Famer. He's won three Stanley Cups. There's no way, I don't think there's any way they would keep him out of it. No. But I was nervous after the, the NHL Top 100 right now overall, and he wasn't in there. And Ovechkin was, and I believe someone else was, and people were like, holy shit. And it's just like Backstrom, one of those guys that doesn't get any praise because of the person that's in front of him. But um, do I think he's going to end the year? 
I don't think he's going to end his career as a Penguin, which is tough to say, because he's kind of like the Yager Yager, the yeah. Lemieux Yager thing, and Yager was the one that ended up leaving, because Sidney Crosby's not going to leave Pittsburgh. Uh, he might stay to the end, but that'd be cool, but, you know. Um, but, yeah. Num what was he, number yeah, seven? Yeah, number six. My number six, Patrick Laine. Yeah. Uh, very good player, still young, uh, 70 points this year, another guy... You're starting to see this more often. The younger kids, more more goals and assists, though, yeah. which is, I mean, but they're not, not selfish. But they're he's not just a center, so it's, you know, he's not. When you're a center and you're putting on more goals and assists, there's an issue. When there you're is a an issue. It's, yeah. You know, it's, a, it's and, and the other thing too, guys, is you got to realize that <laughs> when it comes to young players like this, it's just like football. It's turning into a scoring game, yeah. and that's what and when you're getting drafted now. And in the NFL, it depends on how much you score, because it's not your games aren't going to be two to one anymore. They're going to be four to five, and you know, I mean, the one thing I could say, uh, I mean, Austin Matthews, I believe, had four goals his first ever game as an NHL. Yeah. So, uh, but yeah, Patrick Liney, I love him as a player. I am a huge fan. Uh, his jersey is on the way as well. Uh, so yeah, big big fan. Who's your number six? I got Liney at five as well. So I'm gonna talk about you know forty four points, twenty six. No, no. Who's your number six? My number six. I got Austin Matthews. Oh, about okay, four, yeah. Uh, thirty four points or thirty four goals, twenty nine assists, sixty three points. Yeah. Like we said, we'd like to see him get more assists and points, but twenty year old kid getting sixty plus points. I mean, there's nothing but. No, I mean, I mean he, he's he's got a great career. He's got a great possibility for a great career. I, think, uh, yeah, I mean, yeah. we're we're gonna see what. He can do with having a team around him this year. I mean, they had a decent team yeah, last year. Yeah, I think so. But adding in another massive piece like yeah. Johnson, no, versus, yeah. you know, that's definitely a game breaker or a game changer. And so. he's not going away anytime soon because yeah. the contracts for seven years. Uh, it's. I, I would. I honestly, uh, you know, I did put Matthews. I mean, be the top ten's not bad, but I put him as number ten. But I, I, he's the one, if you talk about the superstars that are growing up, like Lion A, Shifley, uh, McDavid, and Matthews, the ones that's the most shaky to me, in my opinion, is Matthews. Yep. Because, you know, he's on a team that's legitimately stacked on paper. And we know that you don't win the game on paper. And... I want to see how he responds to it. Even though he loved having Tavares there, yeah. I would love to see how he responds to it. Uh, my number five is Malkin. I mean, you can't say anything more than great player. Uh, doesn't get much praise. Him and Nicholas Backstrom are pretty much in the same thing. The only thing that uh, that's different about Malkin is that he, I love him, but he's he's a normal Russian. He gets angry when he gets hit. And I think that's why Ovechkin. Ovechkin. Well, yeah, well, no, that's what I was gonna say. I think that's why Ovechkin and people love him because he doesn't play like a Russian. He no. scores like a Russian, but he doesn't play like a Russian. He hits like a Russian. No, I don't he hits think. like a Russian defenseman. <laughs> yeah, no, yeah, yeah. Russian Yeah, but you think about the best Russian forwards. I mean, Datsuk, been like to get hit. Uh, Bure, McGillney, um, Kov no, not Kovalev. No, no, is he? Is Kovalev Russian? I'm sure. His name ends up OV. I'm pretty sure he's Russian. No, it's EV. EV. Yeah, still 80% chance he's Russian. Yeah. Great player, though. Um, this is what we're uh, My number five, I had Patrick Lyon. Oh, okay, he's yeah. 70 points, 44 goals, 26 assists. Great young player. Yep. 20 years old. Same bright future ahead of him. Yeah. You know, we'll see what he'll be able to do. Uh, my number four is the guy that... Um, you know, I mean, once again, a guy that had a ton of points this year, and looking at his career as of now is having a great career, and that's Nikita Kucherov. Uh, 80 games played, 39 goals, 61 assists for 100 points, and in his career, 365 games, 147 goals, 187 assists for 334 points. He has had, now this is his career, not just, this is the, you know, we do the seasons, in his career, every season he scored 25 or more goals, and every season he's had 35 or more assists. That's incredible. Yeah, it is. He's, and you know what? Once again, another guy that you don't really hear much about, unless you're a diehard. Yeah. You know, and it's just like a, I, I just, I, I haven't seen him enough to really have an opinion. I really, you know, it's, I, say, I hate to be like that, I think, but I think that's the thing. It's just like Austin Matthews. He's gonna be overshadowed. 
um, yeah. by or not Austin Matthews, but Benji or Malkin and Backstrom. You know, those are the guys that get overshadowed by having great players on their team. Yeah. Like Steven Stamkos now, so that's yeah. Yeah, I mean, you, you know, know it's, Crosby. Like, it's tough when you're, like, it's great being that number two guy, yeah. but you are not getting the praise that you should be. I mean, 25-year-old kid dropping 100 points is just... Incredible. Is that what he is? He's 25. 25. See, I thought he was a lot younger, only because he's only played four years in the a NHL. Lot of take a little longer. Yeah. And it's just good because that KHL is a motherfucker. I say it's not like Canadians when they start college at like 16. Yeah, no, yeah, no. Um, you know, there's not much else you can say about Kucherov, I believe. It was his rookie season when they made it to the Stanley Cup final. So, you know, I mean, this team, once again, is stacked for next year. They really haven't changed, so they're going to be just as good as next year. So we'll see what happens. Uh, my number three is Sidney Crosby. And, um, I mean, he is he is in the top three. He's not number one, but he's always going to be in the, yeah, well, he's always going to be in the top five. Yeah. Um, you know, this year, normal year, uh, a shitload of assists. And, you know, it's, what you can say some shit about Ovechkin and Crosby all you want. Yeah. The problem is, and this is something that I think we've discussed, they play totally different positions. Totally different. So it's just, I mean, do I think that Crosby be as good as Ovechkin if he was playing wing? I don't think no. so. I just don't think that's, he's a natural wing. Um, if, if you want to compare, compare Malkin, or no, could compare McDavid to Crosby and, um, Line to, you know what I mean, to Ovechkin, because at least they play the same position. Yeah. Um, you know, his career is, is what it is. It's uh, 864 games played, 411 goals, 705 assists, which that's a huge difference. Right. I didn't and notice. That's, and that's crazy. I mean, to have 1,100 points, 1,116 points, yep. but to have 700 assists, yeah. I mean, that's a crazy number. I was looking up. I was like, wow, like, that's got to be getting up there in terms of, you know, ranks for most ever. I mean, obviously he'll never catch with the great one. No. 1,900 assists, which is absurd. That's but he, disgusting. But second place is like 1,250. And I can see Crosby getting there if he plays another six, seven years. I mean, he's averaging 50 I'm to 60 trying assists. trying to think about it because he's my age. Right? If he's averaging yeah. 50 to 60 assists per year, he's still going to... I also wouldn't be surprised like if he retired at 36. What the fuck else does he have to prove? I mean, prove? he's only 31 right now. Yeah, so what else does he have to prove? Five, six years I him. just don't want, you know, and, and, and I'm not I'm not saying anything bad about Gretzky or Lemieux or Gordie Howe, but once they hit that age, some age, they're not as good yeah. anymore. No, no. And they're used for something else other than uh, being the all-the-time center that yeah. goes out there. But then again, you know, just like Ovechkin, they're all world players. They, they're going to score. It's just how much as they get... Um, you know, as they get younger. Who's your number three? Uh, my theory was Crosby, Crosby as well. Yeah. Um, my only issue with him this year was he just he didn't score that much. He usually doesn't, and that's the funny thing is people don't realize that he, even when he was a junior, yeah. I mean, he had 162 points his last uh, junior season, which was, I think, very close to Lemieux's record. Yeah, you know, I think so Lemieux had like 200 and something in like 60 games, you know? But he, all, he had 50 assists and 100... Yeah, 112 assists. Or no, 50 goals, 112 assists. Yeah. And I think that's why you cannot compare yeah, Ovechkin so to Crosby. One is a pretty much Crosby is passing to Ovechkin. You know what I'm saying? It's different because Crosby. Got a precision passer and a precision shooter. That's what it is. And, you know, and, and, you know, I mean, there was a point in his career that the coaches were like, we want you to shoot more. And he did. And he was still Crosby, but he wasn't really, you know what I'm saying? And it's just, he had, he's had his 50-goal seasons like Ovechkin has had, but it's just, you can see in the difference of points from goals to assists. Yeah. It's 300 different, you know? So, I mean, he's at 11. Yeah, it's funny because Ovechkin's the exact opposite. opposite. Yeah, and, and that's, but like with Crosby, he's had 11, 25-plus goal seasons, which isn't bad, um, and then 10, 40-plus goal seasons. For assist seasons, which honestly I thought it was a little bit more, but I but I also started a low number and go up because yeah. he's also had forty one in one season, then eighty two in another. You know, so you got it, number two. Ovechkin, I do, and it's just because I don't. It's not because he won to stand the cup this year. It's just that the way he played this year, he's goal scorer, and that's what he does. I mean, he had forty nine goals, eighty three or thirty eight assists. He's had seven fifty goal seasons, seven or fifty or more. Yeah, no, he was just, I, I, I loved watching that video where he, uh, um, the last game when he shot like 18 times, it was yeah. hilarious. Uh, six, uh, 45 plus assist seasons, which is pretty good too. 
Yeah, for um, absolutely. There is a different. There's not much of a difference that I thought from goals to assists, which is pretty cool. Um, it's pretty close. I think he's got 1,100 career points. No, let me see. He's got. He's got 1,122 career points. He's got 607 goals, 515 assists. But that's what I'm saying right? there. Really yeah, close. that's a big difference compared to what Crosby yeah, it is. is. Yeah. And I mean, to me, he's the number one shooter of all, well, probably in history. He's probably the best shooter. The only problem is, is that the, the game's changed, but I think if he was born earlier, I think he would have the same yeah. Even better. Yeah, it's just the only problem with him is there's a wood stick you really can't. You got him at once, so I'm going to say Oh, yeah, no, 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 that's fine. Um, but, yeah, no, Ovechkin's great. I yeah. mean, there's nothing more you can say about it. <coughs> you know, I mean, everyone gets all up in arms about it, and if you go by stats, Ovechkin still wins. But he's played 300 more games than Crosby. But there's you can't compare. What's that? 200. Is it 200? Oh, 864, right? That's what Crosby played. Yeah. yeah. So still, you know, I mean, the problem is, too, is that Crosby was out for a while. Yeah. You know, I mean, people don't remember that he missed like a year and a half worth of games. And, uh, yeah, because he's a pussy. No, you know what? I thought he was a pussy, too. But then there's like, I look back, and there's like a million of those guys that haven't even played. Yeah. Since I got a concussion, like huge names that just vanished. I was like, oh yeah, where's he? Concussion syndrome. It's just like, wow. He's gonna get rocks. Yeah, yeah, no, some of them they just can't take it anymore, you know. Uh, but Ovechkin's great. He's got a Stanley Cup. It's he would have been in the Hall of Fame no matter what. But now he is with everybody else. When they say the greats names, they will say Ovechkin as well, Absolutely. which they should. Uh, my number two, I Connor McDavid. Yeah, I mean, it's uh, just... Yeah. I mean, you know was going to go one-two either way. Yeah. 41 goals, 67 assists, 108 points on the year. Scoring leader. Uh, yeah. 209 games. Two years in a row. 256 points. Yeah. I mean, he's, he's going to the place where Crosby you know, and Ovechkin yes, are, where exactly. they have more points yep. than goals. And, and for me, the only reason that I put him behind Ovechkin is just because... It's only been two years. You know? Yeah, no, 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 I get it. And with Ovechkin, it's just been a dominant 11 straight season. With yeah. Him desecrating everyone he faces. Yeah, no, I mean, it's just, uh, but, okay, so the, the, you can compare it in this way, folks. Malkin has 70, 784 games played, 930 points. Crosby has 864 games played, 116 points. Ovechkin has... 1,003 games played, no, 1,122 points. So he's getting into that superstar status. Yeah. You know, and I, he's that's two years in a row for him to win the points. Yeah. The only thing that bothers me, he's number one for me still, but if they're shit again this year, I think I'm going to have to drop him because, once again, we've talked about it, I am not a fan of the contract he took, but, you know, we'll see what happens. We yeah, will see what happens. What's, what's that? Alex will happily take number one. Well, I mean, it's just, that's the whole thing. It's just like you gotta, the one thing about Crosby and Ovechkin and Malkin is they're in the playoffs every year. You know, I think between those three, that I think they've missed two total. And one, the two were both teams' rookie season, uh, both players' rookie season, and then the one time with the Capitals when they had Adam Motes as the coach. Yep. That's it. Three seasons compared with three different guys. This guy's missed two seasons already. So, Connor McDavid, you need to start scoring more. Or needs to be more of a captain than, uh, you know, a points guy, in my opinion. And your number one is? My number one is Alex Ovechkin. Uh, we talked about it before. 1,003 games played, 1,122 career points. I believe he's got 117 career playoff points. Something like that, yeah. 607 goals. I think he's all. I think he also is averaging over a point a uh, game. It's 120 games, 117 goals. So he's literally right at the one. Okay, one yeah. Game, uh, because he's right at the cusp of, because like they show that every time. Like Gretzky's crazy point per game with the playoffs, but like uh, Lemieux, Crosby, they're all in the same spot, you know, of how many points per game. Um, listen. Alex Ovechkin is the it thing right now. I mean, the last three seasons, the NHL has been very happy. Their superstars have won a Stanley Cup the last three seasons, which probably has had an up in uh, ratings, maybe? I don't know. I think Alex Ovechkin actually did help being in the, being in the playoffs yeah. and doing the Stanley Cup run he did. Anything else you want to say about him? That's all I got. That's all you got. So we are done with Puck Schmuck. Still probably early October. 
You know, uh, we'll, probably last week of September when free se- or right about a week before the season starts. Before the season starts, we can predict stuff and think where guys are going to go. Or not go, but how teams are going to go and stuff like that. Um, so, you know, hopefully you guys enjoyed the list like we did. It was actually a lot of fun. But next year, I think we should just do a, like a clean slate and just try to do it without any guide. Yeah. Just do it on our own guide. Keep the notebook, you know, but... Uh, before we go, uh, thank you for watching the show as much as you have. We appreciate it. And uh, we will be back late September, maybe early October. Um, like the video. Subscribe to the channel. Uh, look out for other stuff that's coming up. Uh, fantasy football and gambling-wise. Because, you know, I mean, as much as hockey fans don't like it, it is football season, folks. Uh, but subscribe, like, comment, follow us on Instagram at Bigger and Bradder Sports. We're also on Twitter. I am at Big Tuna BBS. Brad or is at Defense Spell. Well, Brad and Corey is. Two weeks. Buy the draft kit too in the description. BB Sports 15. I gotta get up for that. <laughs> Puck Schmucks out.